Well, hello everyone. I hope you're having a great Friday and uh, we've uh, made it to another weekend. And I've been thinking about a couple of humble things today. Uh, first of all, I've been thinking about uh, uh, the uh, toilet paper. Uh, back in the, uh, just a few weeks ago we heard and uh, saw a lot of uh, concern about toilet paper. Uh, I was in a store this week and noticed they had uh, a great supply of that. And uh, so no need to be concerned about that. I also was thinking this week about the humble potato. Turns out there's uh, thousands of pounds of them waiting in a uh, warehouse uh, there and the farmer would like you to eat a few more potatoes. In fact, even I saw one, uh, one headline that said, uh, could you eat a few more French fries uh, for the sake of uh, New Brunswick farmers? It's coming close to the time when uh, these have got to be put into the ground for uh, next year's crop and there's uh, quite a few of them sitting in the warehouse uh, here in the province. What does that all have to do with uh, the thought that I'm thinking here today? Well, uh, the Lord has always been the great provider. He has uh, looked after his people all throughout history. And I think one, one specific example, uh, it was the manna in the wilderness. During those 40 years, uh, the people of God uh, would go out each morning and they would collect up the manna that the Lord had sent down to them from heaven. And they were to pick up enough for the day. They didn't need to pick up any more than that uh, because uh, if they did, uh, what they had left over from the day before uh, would go bad and uh, it wasn't any use to them anyway. And the Lord was showing them through that that they needed to put their trust in Him. And uh, even in this time, we need to remember that we need to put our trust in Him. We've uh, had to have some different faith muscles exercised over the last little while. Uh, I've never lived in a, a time when there was any concern about shortages of anything, uh, even uh, humble things like uh, toilet paper or uh, potatoes. But uh, in these times, uh, we, we do have to flex a few different uh, trust muscles. We need to trust the Lord to provide for us every day. Uh, didn't He teach us, uh, give us this day our daily bread, uh, our bread for today, uh, and uh, we can know that He will provide that for us. So, uh, no jokes for you today. In fact, uh, when you get these two things involved, the jokes kind of write themselves. So, uh, I hope you're having a great day, and I want to leave you with this thought. It's uh, from Joshua chapter 5, verse 12. It says there that uh, when the people of Israel ate the food from the land of Canaan, the very next day the manna stopped. That year they ate the produce of the land of Canaan. Uh, that uh, rings out true to me that uh, the Lord is the one who is our provider. He's looking after us and he'll provide for us every day. Lord, we ask, give us this day our daily bread. Help us to keep depending on you. Now, folks, I want you to check your email a little later today. There's going to be some information there about uh, what we're planning for Sunday. Uh, so uh, check your email. Uh, make sure you get the instructions about that. And uh, I trust that you're having a great day. Uh, have a great day, and God bless you.